Depression and anxiety are major problems for people with diabetes. People living with diabetes are twice as likely to develop mental health problems. But little is being done to monitor or treat the symptoms. It's the hidden health risk of diabetes. When Christine Hurley was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes during a routine blood test, she quickly developed mood swings and anxiety. I, um, I found that a lot of food I couldn't eat. I just didn't, the smell of food just turned me off eating for about uh, four months. She dropped 30 kilograms in that period. The scare forced her to find a way to manage her mental health, which included regular walks and sharing more with her family. Oh, that was very important there, when I, when I needed them for, for certain things and, and that they were very good. Sadly, her story is not a rare one. New research from Diabetes New South Wales show only 2% of people with type 1 or type 2 diabetes are managing their mental and emotional well-being. And that could lead to serious long-term problems. Self-care is poorer, uh, long-term complications are more prevalent, there's increased risk of, of mortality. Across the country, there are about 1.7 million people living with diabetes. There are 280 new, ca new cases every day. About a third of people experience daily anxiety and stress, and half have experienced depression. There's a lot of information out there about how to handle your type 1 or type 2 diabetes. What health experts want is more dialogue about how to handle the hidden mental or emotional aspects of type 1 and type 2 diabetes that can just be as easily treated. A national diabetes strategy will be released early next year. Until then, experts are calling on GPs and patients to help initiate the discussion. Julia Clixto, SBS World News.